aton pagatunan subong is Psalm 49. Nga ginataytulan the fully trusting in wealth. This is a wisdom psalm remind us the book of Ecclesiastes with its emphasis on the futility of worldliness. But unlike Ecclesiastes, it brings out the assurance of victory over death of the righteous. The psalm gave a sharp warning to the people who cherish power and pump that this world offers. Ang ini nga salmo nagawarn sa mga tao nga nagakalipay sa power nga grabe ang ang mga pagtaha sa tao that this world offers. It is temporary and cannot redeem. Conversely, the psalm gives encouragement to the godly sa mga just known who feel overwhelmed by the power and influence of the rich and famous. The victory is there in final decision. The righteous must evaluate the world's pomp in the light of different destinies of the foolish and the wise after death. Verse 13 to 20. There is no reason to fear the rich and powerful for their pomp and power will perish with them. The righteous must not fear. Verse 16. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. It is important for the exposition to reiterate that the rich and powerful described here are not believers. They trust in their own power. They are many wealthy believers who seek to use and what they have to serve the Lord. There is no reason to fear them. The reason they must not fear is that all die and are consumed. The point made in verse 17 is not simply that they will die, but when they do, they can take nothing with them. Their glory will not descend to the grave with them. In death, they will be no more wealthy or powerful than anyone else. Their glory was of this world and therefore temporary. Although temporary, it is idolized by the world. Verse 18 says that well, such person lives, he blesses himself. That is, he congratulates himself on his successful life and pronounces his, himself rich in every way. Although he does this, he will die. The second half of the verse seems to be parenthetical to the flow of discussion. It says, And people praise you when you because you do well for yourself. Ang mga tao nagadayaw sa iya kay kadamo sang iya manggad. But in spite of their success, all the expression of congratulations, they will go the way of their ancestors, meaning death, and never see the light. The verb, it shall go, probably implying soul life, is the subject. Some commentators suggest it should be read as a second person verb form addressing the dying fool. You shall go. Those who have no understanding, ang wai kaalam, Ihi balo sang wisdom ng halin sa Bible are like beasts that perish. Verse 20. The theme presented in verse 12 is now reiterated. Ginasulit people in all, all their honor who have no understanding of the way of God and the way of life that leads to God are like the beasts that perish. This summary statement does not need to reiterate The points about death that they were made in the psalm because they are implied that these rich fools who do not trust God perish like cattle are laid in the grave with nothing 
and descend to the unseen world of spirits. They are like a flock of sheep with death for their shepherd, their beauty and glory gone. For our conclusion, the fleeting pleasures of worldly riches are seductive and deceptive, able to pull people away from God. Instead of being duped and defrauded, the righteous must look to God for true satisfaction. Magtanaw sa Diyos, Jesus nagrason sa Matthew 16.26, What good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Kung may problema, dangop sa Diyos for our application. 1 Corinthians 4.2 Moreover, it is required in stewards that man be found faithful. Kung ano nga mga resources, kag-wealth nga ara sa imo, maging faithful ka sa Diyos, ang gamita para sa kaymayaan sang Diyos. Luke 16.10 He that faithful in that which is least is faithful also in mass also in mass he that is adjust in the least is also adjust and just also in mass kita nga mga kristohanon bisan jutay ang aton resources maging faithful kita gamiton ta para sa kaymayaan sang Dios for the service of God Kabay pa nga ang application ta maging faithful kita sa aton mga resources. Waay kita kundi ang kabuhi ta. Kung bisan jutay ang aton resources gamiton ta para sa kaymayaan sa Dios. This is God's word for you today.